everything, but I I got my click funnels. I'm I don't know if I'm premature or what, but <laughs> I'm kind, I I almost feel a little overwhelmed, <laughs> like a little confused. I don't even know what to think right now. That's easy to do. Feel overwhelmed. I felt that way five six times. But oh yeah. Just plugging the head and getting through it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're still at it, buddy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little, I, I'm looking forward to where I, I feel more comfortable with this, you know? Cause yeah, yeah, that's the ultimate goal. But uh, I, f I forget I was, I was watching something and they're like, you can't, you can't fail as long as you don't quit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So uh, that's how I keep thinking. I'm like, I can't fail as long as I don't quit. So that's what I keep telling myself as long as I. Uh, but it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. positive. Yeah. So you got your. Um, you got your, uh, what's it called? Back, your funnel back and all that. You set up your funnel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh -huh. I'm going back and going through each section to see if I missed something because I've actually completed or just about completed module eight too, but there's some things I missed in previous steps. So I'm going kind of going back through checking every one to make sure it's right. Okay. Like order confirmation page, everything, masterclass. I'm just going through each one. I'm watching the videos again to see what I missed. What do you find hard about it? Or actually, this is this is very helpful because just other people asking other questions, kind of like once you get to it, you're like, oh, okay, this is what so and so was talking about. Yeah, so, different steps. You know, I'd go, I'd answer all the questions, watching the video, but I'm I might get to one step I don't know right at the moment, so I keep on going forward but if you don't finish the the whole cycle there and you go forward and something's missing that's why i'm going back now because if i found something that stumped me i just left it alone and continued on now i gotta go back and find those things mm -hmm. so you would you say you if you could start <laughs> over would you, would you not skip it yeah, I mean, when I first started, I'd look at it and say, well, I'll get back to it later. Let me finish this section. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't move forward until I got the right answers to everything. Because right now in all, all the categories, I forgot what I, you know, what I missed when I said to myself, oh, I'll go back to it later. Well, you forget them over a period of time. So now I got to go back to every step and make sure I have it right. How long you've been doing it? Uh, how long have I? How long did you start the program? Back in, I guess, December. Oh wow! So you've been you got three months almost. Well, no, it's not December then. I guess January. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when I. Yeah. Hey, Darren. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Aga, how you doing, Aga? I love the hey. red hair. <laughs> hey, how are you doing, Omar? Good. Thank hey, you. Everybody. Oh, all right. All right. So we see a couple of new people in the room. I haven't seen everyone's names yet. Uh, Kim over in Australia. I see you. How you doing? Mate? Good to see you. Hey, how you doing, Kim? Um, I'm well, thank you. Yeah. So the onboarding calls were not at the right times because I'm here in the UK, but I was still awake anyway. So I jumped on with Kim uh, last night, I think it was. Um, I think I see Brandon. I just, uh, yeah, he's driving right now. He does about 30 hours of driving. I don't know. Is that, th no, he said he's driving and he does like 30 hours between one place and another. If you want to unmute, just kind of, let me know where you're driving from and to. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. 
Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I drive about 10 hours a day. Right now, I'm in New Mexico. I'm taking this load to New Jersey. So, that's about 30 hours away. So Good, good. I got a good three days of driving in front of me. <laughs> we need wow. to get you out of that job. We had somebody else on here, uh, John John uh, Griswold. Do everyone remember him? Some of those who were still on here previously. He is a driver as well, I think. Uh, He's always stopping off, but making time to get on the calls as well. So I appreciate you for making time to get on the call, Neil. I'm just waiting for a couple more people in the room. Normally, I start this around about like five minutes or seven minutes past. It's usually everyone sort of creeps in around about the five, seven minute mark. And it's been it's been like that even before the accelerator was even born. So I've just called out the seven minute mark and just grab yourself a coffee, get yourself your pen and paper and get yourself settled in. And we're going to go for the hour from there. It gives other people around the world to kind of just get in the room as well. So... We have about 14 people in the room. Cool, cool. All right. I hope you're all well. I hope everyone's been building their funnels. I think there are a few people with the last day. We have Aga. We have Carlos, Rosalind, Ronald. Yeah, Ronald. Jens and Winnie and Zach. But Zach is done and dusted within two weeks. So, and Marianne. Okay, okay. So, Marianne, you're um, good? Can I ask a question, Darren? I know. Not just yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mary Ann, I'm just waiting for people to uh, turn up in the room first, first five or seven minutes, and then we ask questions then. But um, Mary Ann, are you okay with that? Hey, Evie. Hello. Vicky. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Okay. Hello. Okay. We're going to start the timer in a moment and just waiting for two more minutes and just making sure everybody else is in the room. But otherwise, yeah, continue. If you would like to continue talking before I go live, I just want to make sure that everyone else is in the room. Okay. Just making sure some people are able to get in. I'm getting some emails coming through. But um, where, go ahead, Omar. What were we going to ask? Is it a technical question or just a regular normal question? Uh, it's a question on my... I still haven't gotten back my Facebook design. Okay. Shouldn't well, shouldn't I already gotten it? How how long have you been waiting for? Uh, uh, three days, four days. Yeah, so around about the one one to four days it takes for the designers to actually pick it up and start doing the work. Some people are saying it comes back in like a day. Uh, I say get to day five, then give us a nudge at priority support, then go forwards from there. So yeah, just hang tight. You'll get your stuff. Don't worry. All, All right. right. We're six minutes in, so we have sixteen people in the room. A couple of a couple more people creeping in. I see you, Brian. Aha, uh -huh, crept in. <laughs> Busted. Busted. Yeah. <laughs> That's his word. Busted. Um all right, all right. Cool. A couple more seconds. All right. Good stuff. 17. You can hear that timer, Marianne? You ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to your Black Spanner Program Accelerator Call. This is number 54. Hope you're well. I see we have 17 people in the room. If you have any questions, use the raise hand feature or the reaction feature on your version of Zoom. I don't know if you're on your phone or if you're on your desktop or your laptop or on your iPad. Try and find it on your version. It will be in various locations, but if you use a reaction feature, that's all good with me, like just clapping or use an emoji or something like that. But on mine, on the Windows, I have uh, the participants panel. I can see invite, mute all, and I see three dots. And if I click on those three dots, it will say raise hand or lower, lower hand. So hopefully it will show on your side. So if you have any questions, raise your hand. I see we have Aga and we have Ron. Um, and Marianne, you are co-host. Okay. So we are going to go for one hour and one hour only today, instead of one hour 15, one hour 20, we are going to stay on time today, but I hope you're well. And I hope you've been working through your funnels. We're going to go with Aga first, because this is your last day, I believe. Is that right? Come on. Oh, I mute myself. Yep, it is. 
Uh, just the perfect day for asking a tricky one that's just like today made my uh, mind like... <clears throat> Okay, uh, what I noticed, I'm not the only person uh, who had an issue of send greed, just not allowing me to create an account. Uh, so uh, I saw a list of other auto responders uh, approved uh, by uh, ClickFunnels and MailChimp was there, which is, has been used for years by my partner's company. And uh, did fantastic for their uh, help fantastically anyway. So uh, I started, uh, I integrated it with ClickFunnels and then when it comes, came to SMTP configuration, this is when the fun began because on the top of uh, ClickFunnels, uh, what do they have listed? Uh, when it comes to their uh, transactional and marketing integrations, they have only one, two, three, four different clients and uh, not a uh, MailChimp. Uh, on the list how to integrate them and uh, when I tried to copy similar patterns like Black did for SendGrid because certain rules are very very similar and you can find data uh, with your service provider I'm with MailChimp and I have uh, not MailChimp when it comes to where my emails come from they come from Namecheap uh, private mail which uh, works for me fine uh, when I tried to copy the patterns he was doing, so for example, uh, when there's user in the field of click funnels, um, user yada yada and SMTP password, and I also did API key and I inserted my API key from Mailchimp, which I used uh, uh, to uh, like you know the autoresponder platform. Uh, the message is wrong email and password, and I'm like, ah! after all the drama with SendGrid, which took me a few good hours to, you know, back and forth like this, I'm pretty stuck over here. Okay, Hilfe. so so with that, with the SMTP, I mean, Mailchimp is not really the way to go forwards. It is a form of an autoresponder, but a lot of people were uh, swayed away from them probably about two, three years ago. Um, it's 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 a platform that that doesn't really like affiliate marketers, and soon you'll probably find out that if they if they flag you on the system, you'll find that you've lost your contacts, you've lost your messages, and everything like that. This was a move that 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 they were doing towards not only um, affiliate marketers but also specifically Shopify owners. Um, there was this big thing that I was doing like online stores and things like that. So I would definitely move away if you as soon as possible. Firstly, um, what we want to be doing is moving towards using the, the ClickFunnels platform and using the automations tab in the ninety-seven dollar plan and utilizing an SMTP provider. One of them being Sengrid, and if they if they're not happy to work with you for some strange reason, we're all using the same platform, all using the same products, right? So what we're going to be using instead is Mailgun or something else that ClickFunnels uh, refers to. What I'm going to do is share my screen with you right now and show you Hi. in in help.clickfunnels.com. Can you all see my screen? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you can see SMTP. So we have different op options right here. So uh, we're going to be probably just going over to this one here, SMTP FAQ, and then just click on another link. Uh, let me just find it. It might just pick up the, the keyword that I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. SMTP provider. It's going to come up with about four or five different ones. If we just scroll down. Yeah, there was mail gun there. Uh, yeah. A lot of I people, when I, whenever I refer anybody who do, who cannot get onto SendGrid, they all go to Mailgun and they all have success. So I would definitely make sure that you have Mailgun integrated mm -hmm. and then all your messages, all your emails inside of the automations tab as previously shown from, from the program. And you should be good going forward from there. Okay. Okay. And that, uh, that thing I can easily integrate with uh, my uh, uh, email from uh, Namecheap, right? Yes, you should be able to do exactly the same way, like using the C names and everything. Essentially, what you're doing is uh, authenticating your domain in the same way as well, so that you can send messages as if you do have that mailbox. I, per I personally don't have the mailbox support at clickfunnels.com. No, for the support at affiliateleasemachine.com. Uh, and so I have, um, I've, I've authenticated my domain 
which says, yes, I do own the domain. So whatever I send it out from using ClickFunnels and the SMTP provider, it will appear in their inbox. You know, when the first email shoots off, whenever they buy that blueprint or any of the other emails that come from, from the abandonment card sequence, it comes from an email that looks branded. So support affiliate leads machine.com. And it has that, my name it says Darren and square brackets affiliate leads machine. So they know my name and they know the company's name. Um, and that's how I do it when it, when it asks you what, what name do you want it to come from? Um, and that's the reason why we use the SMTP provider, just so that it can send it for you. You've got all the messages inside of ClickFunnels and you don't need anything else. You shouldn't need another aut automated system unless you've already been marketing for a while. You already have, I don't know, let's say, for example, like Active Campaign, SendLane, um, get response and all these other platforms. Now, if you are using another platform, we do not teach you how to use other, other platforms. Just like ClickFunnels will do it exactly the same here. You can integrate it, but it's assumed that because you already have that platform, you should be very well versed with using that. Uh, there are tons of other platforms out there for domain registrars and there are tons of other platforms for autoresponders like MailChimp as well. But I would definitely run for the hills from there. They, they, do, not, they do not like certain things at certain points. Uh, and I think it was about two years ago when I went to a meeting, it was like yeah, when we were allowed to actually go out and meet people. Um, I was using a meetup app. I was doing social media marketing agency. And then when I met up with this great, amazing uh, group of people that were all doing really well with Shopify, they said, just, just, get out, just get out of MailChimp as soon as you can before they lock you out. Um, because a lot of other accounts are being flagged right now. Uh, and they gave the, the reason being because they don't like affiliate marketing going on and promotions going on. And it's not really built for that. It's built for a more of a low end user, not for like mass, mass emailing as most other so, um, uh, autoresponders are really built for. Hopefully that makes sense. So hopefully that will make, will make too much of an issue for you on your side, but as long as it's integrated, you should be good. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll go to Mailgun. I was a little bit skeptical about Mailgun with my uh, great experience with uh, SendGrid. They were like, you're not fit for our platform. Like, what? I was like, no, thank you. It's like, so what, what? I know. It's, I think because I use my Gmail uh, email uh, as a login one because it just, uh, I, I have it very handy. So it shows me everything. You know, I have the apps, so I know what's going on. I don't want to have 10,000 other uh, mailboxes. Uh, and then I think they didn't like that uh, I haven't uh, uh, created my limited liability company yet. Uh, because in Ireland, they're a little bit more chilled out. It's just like you can gather the setup costs uh, from X amount of months. And I know that from a like real, real accountant. So I was just like, okay, no rush. Probably March will be when I will have it set up, like most yeah. certainly. Uh, so uh, just in case anybody was facing uh, the issue, if you have an email not uh, uh, aligned with your domain fast, if you don't have a company set up, they might show you a middle finger. Simple as. Uh, yeah. Uh, question number two. Mm -hmm. What was the coaching call number you were talking about how to access the masterclass? Do you remember, Darren? I don't remember. I think we've lost all the time. Vicky. We've lost all the timestamps now, so we don't know. Okay, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll basically find it. I think it was with Vicky you were telling her, if I remember correctly. Question number three. Uh, as people who are in Accelerator, uh, can we have two funnels or is it still the can uh, say and Kay thing? And if we can, how do we do that? Do we uh, basically uh, copy the previous funnel and just modify it and, uh, you know, just spice it up uh, for another niche. Are you wanting to change a niche now or you wanted uh, to... I, I'd rather think about adding another one. Uh, focus on one. Focus on one. Uh, and in time perspective, uh, because like, yeah, obviously I'm attacking the groups and etc. And not in the spam way. So later on for time perspective, I could just duplicate, modify and... Yeah, essentially, you can just clone out the funnel and change out the design, change out the text, you should be good and then go through the whole funnel as if, you know, you should hopefully know it like the back of your hand, even the emails, everything that that has pointed towards another niche, another target market, then go through with a, cl a clean sweep with mobile and desktop and everything else. It should all make more sense and be a lot faster for you to go through this page, mobile desktop. Next page, mobile desktop, what is connected to it? The products, what am I going to change my product name to associated with that particular niche? Maybe you might use a product name that will call out to them even better. Mine's the Affiliate Lease Machine Blueprint, Affiliate Lease Machine Masterclass. If I go to a real estate company and 
it's just not gonna it's just not gonna fly but i can communicate with them that's the way i do things a little bit differently but yeah absolutely clone out your funnel um and once you've actually completed the funnel don't get to like 70 80 percent and make sure that you're doing the done for you as well after launch but launch within the first three products get that done for you done afterwards and then come back and actually say okay yeah i want to clone out the whole funnel i don't want to see people like get up to about 70 85 percent because that's what i used to do i get a 70 85 percent i think yeah i know it all i'm good but no go through the whole journey again and again and again go through the training i've done it again and again and again and guess what you get really good with this um i know vicky's probably got about 50 questions right now i can see i see no your hand is not raised oh my god um okay <laughs> i guess we're surprised Jamal's surprised as well um but okay cool so just uh tying over with what i was saying with sangrid if you ever get kicked off the system then and if you do reply to them or if you do try and message them and support they will not reply back just don't expect Sangrid. it then send uh, send grid yeah they won't reply they back they won't responded message. me and they sent me the questionnaire and they were not happy that my ltd or something is not set up yeah that's they were if you actually gestapo about that yeah that's if you actually get kicked off and you don't know why and you can't log in anymore so don't expect a reply if you ever, you know, if that actually happens. Yeah, so at least then, you like, got after that, when they say you're not suitable, we will not further engage with you. Like, oh, thank you, bye. Uh, <laughs> competition doesn't sleep, bye. Yeah, that's fine. That's where everyone starts to go over to somewhere else. But like, if you knew, if you knew Singrid, you sing grid. But um, yeah, do you have any other questions? Now, if you wanted to actually uh, go oh, through yeah. to find out like how to get into the members area, did you want me to go through that just real quick? It won't take in, like more than one minute. Uh, which one? Uh, you said you wanted to get into the members area to go through your members area. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Okay. So um, let me just pull up my screen over here. Who else? Who else has a question? Marianne, can you find out? And I'm just going to pull up the screens over here for click. Darren, just in regards to that, can you just show us? Is there a quick spot back to that conversation we were about? We were having about having a VA and ha giving a VA access. Is there somewhere within the back end that we could just add someone's name and email? and then give them access? Or would we just allow them to do a secret sign up URL? No, no, we said that we shouldn't give that out. What's the best uh, way to give a VA access? <laughs> okay, cool. So this is, I uh, can tie in both of these questions right now. So what I'll do is, uh, let me just do this. I'm gonna share my screen. So I've got, I'm on my funnel, I'm gonna remove some of these cameras and this Zoom panel that I see that you don't see. Anyway, so um, you see my screen, we have uh, the membership area the best way to go forward is into your membership area so that you can actually see it and use it once you've actually built everything out is to go to this part here. So you're inside of that tab. Then you go to open in editor. I'm just going to hold control on my keyboard because I want to stay on this screen for a moment, but it's going to open up a new tab. Okay. You can see that on the right hand side. When you click on open in editor, it will open this. Okay. In the top right hand side, you see preview. When you click on that, you'll have super admin rights to your membership area so it'll unlock everything and you won't have had to purchase into it that's the fastest way to go forwards now mine looks a little bit different because i've added to it um, but what you'll have inside of here you'll have your uh, your blueprint you'll have your 1000 followers on the left hand side and you'll also have your masterclass right here okay so as and when you feel like it make some changes test it out see what's going to work best with your customers and things so i'm actually making some changes within mine and we've gone through that over the last couple of weeks but anyway that's how you get into your members area hopefully that answers your question okay now uh we don't want to be giving out like sub user access to our click account no i don't want any sabotage or anything like that and as you grow your team hopefully you'll be able to give out like sub user access which is what we do inside of the expander program marianne had uh, i think you have admin or is it sub user access either one of those two it gives you certain permissions with inside of the file i have the admin access for blake's cool so blake super super trusts marianne and so yeah she she has access to all the funnels that he has inside of his click account um and so what i wanted to show you is that right here if you wanted to bring someone in as your as a team member and remember hire fast and fire fast if that person is not a good fit you can always kick them off so what i'll do is i'll take a secret sign up url i'm going to paste that into here what you're going to do imagine that you're actually pasting this over to your va or put it into a document maybe create an sop of some sort as you can see i have three boxes here so i've got email password password let me just simulate this temp-mail.org so i'm simulating that they're actually putting in their, their email and so there's not going to be a purchase involved here so i'm going to create a login for the members area 
but the problem is is that there's not going to be any products in there so it's not going to show up anything so let me show you this so everyone can see it so i'm just going to take an email random one and i'm just going to put in hacking 231 Okay, that's going to be deleted later. So if anybody tries to get in, they won't be able to. So as you can see right here, uh, I've got access to all of these members areas, uh, all of these areas inside of here, but some of them I've restricted, some of them I haven't. So imagine if someone actually hacks into your ClickFunnels account, which is possible. Um, if you haven't got the restrictions down, I haven't got a restriction on here for this reason, because if someone hacks into this, they can actually see this video. This video. It's just an interview with my student. Um, inside of here, master your messenger. Again, not not restricted, but guess what? The blueprint that they have to pay for is um, the masterclass and the 1,000 followers should also be should also be here as well. But because um, the way that ClickFunnels works, it doesn't show my 1,000 followers. Did you notice that? So imagine that these two are not here because that's part of my funnel, but you'd have the blueprint, but where's the 1,000 followers? I just see the masterclass. So it shows you that a lot, it's, it's restricted down for the products that they need to pay for. How do we get around this? How do we give access to our customer now? Now, as you see that I've provided an email and a password and a password, what that means is now I have a new user in my members area. And what I can do, click on the members tab. And as you can see, it says unknown. I haven't gone the, through the correct route of like going through and adding the name. You know what we did in the two-step order form on the blueprint? We get the first name and the last name and then the email, right? And then the phone number. But because we haven't got a name here, it doesn't show it as, but this is essentially going to be your, your uh, VA. But you can certainly go inside of here and then change that out. You can change their first name, their last name. You can change that all here, edit the profile. So let's just call it VA profile, just to show you that you can edit the, that person. So you do know that person in future, uh, whoever that person will be. Okay, so I'll go to the bottom of here and I'll just save that out. But this person just has a membership area access because you gave them the secret sign-up URL, which is very important that you lock your members areas down. Inside of the training, inside of add your products, right at the end, it will tell you how to restrict your areas. Now, I know some people are just on day one, maybe. Don't worry about it. I can always go over this another time, but also take note and make sure that you, real, that you come back to, um, which is it? coaching call 54 if you wanted to go back over that now you can see that this person has an email address they have a profile they have no purchases but they do have a membership area on the left hand side i've just clicked on membership so you can see that they've got a membership area into their affiliate leads machine if i go into purchases and top right hand side i can allocate a particular purchase so if i add a purchase i can go through the list of all these other all these other products that i've created inside of here so i have a blueprint affiliate the machine blueprint you can add that product and go through and add the masterclass and the 1,000 followers as well. So they get everything. So essentially, you just want them to go through the masterclass really. So you can just give them access to the masterclass. But if you want to give them full access so they can take care of some of your customer service questions as well, um, you should be good. But if anyone can see 1,000 followers, I can't see it. Have I gone past it? Fit at this machine and for advantage. It's the first. The first oh, one. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Xiaomi. You're welcome. So that actually, that's what I had a question about. So on the membership area, you said the blueprint was locked down, but we could see it. You, but you the 1,000 followers was locked down and we couldn't see it. What's the difference? So, so no, you, you could see. So um, the difference is one, it's an actual, one is a product and the other one's an order bump. So the order bump, the way that we've programmed it inside of the members area, when we when you go through that uh, restriction, it will show up depending on how we've set it up. Um, and if Where I, it is in the funnel, like if you said yes to this, then it shows up or whatever. Yeah, I can go back okay. and show you the, show you the difference on that one. But the reason why the order form bump does it because it it's a coupled um, it couples up with the initial product with the blueprint, so you can't purchase it separately, not right now anyway. Okay. But if you wanted to, you can allow that to happen with a separate order form, raise the price if you want to, uh, or offer it at the same price. Um, what I do is I send people back to the first page of the funnel and then they can purchase again and I'll refund them on the $7. They'll buy the $7 and the 47, 1000 followers fast and I can refund the seven. So that's how I deal with it. At least they learn how this click funnels is really about because it's a one time offer. So why would it be inside of the funnel? But the masterclass is in there. So when they lose access to their one time offer of a downgrade, they won't get it inside of my funnel. 
So that's that's an example there. But um, anyway, this this user now has all of all of these products inside of there. Now, if you refresh this, it usually doesn't work. What you'd have to do is log out, log back in again. So you'll have questions like, see that right there? It's trying to access the introduction. It can't. So what I'll do is I'll log out, log back in again. And I'll use that, that email that I created earlier. And then I'll just type in hacking. I think it's three, two, two, three, one. So when I go back inside of there, I should see and have access to, as you can see now, the it shows the introduction. It shows if I click on, we just say no. Um, if I go to the blueprint, it will show me everything, all the products and everything as normal. So this is your access to your VA. So hopefully that answers your question. And also uh, with the masterclass, I must have changed the product access for that. Um, I've done it in a different way. I know what I've done. I've done it slightly different inside of the program, but I've used tags because I'm on the 297 plan. But um, what I could also do and show you too, if I go into funnels, this is something that's not inside of the training that I was playing around with. But um, whoever's using the 297 plan as well, instead of associating an email with a purchase, you can actually apply a tag with a particular product. Now, I will, that was, that's going too advanced inside of this program, but I'm just going to give access. How I've shown you how to give access to a product that is correct for you in your training, how I would do mine in my training, I would just go into the members area, find that particular profile, um, and then I'll, I'll assign a particular tag. So I'll go back to the user. Let me just check inside the members area. Let me go to this person. And you can research about tags and stuff like that later. But as you can see, I've got two tags. So these two mean that if the person is tagged, that particular tag, uh, they will have that product. That's the way I've programmed this. It's outside of the training, outside of the Blake's Partner program. You're all good, but I'm testing this out before we even put this inside of the program. So if I wanted to add more tags to this person, I can add a tag on the right-hand side and just add that full pay masterclass. And then that person will have access. So it's extra, it's extra, um, restrictions in place that I'm, I'm playing around with, but I don't think it's really, I don't think it's available for the two, uh, for the $97 plan. It's only for the 297. But if I refresh this, hopefully that will actually show up here. I might have to log out, log back in again, but then I'll be able to see the masterclass. Let's see. No. So yeah, it would just require just to log out, log back in again, and that will show up. But as at least you've seen two, two ways. The first way I showed you is, is the way that would apply for you. Hopefully that makes sense, Vicky. I'll watch the replay if it didn't make any sense, but that should be fine. But I'll go, I'll go back into the members area and show you how the restrictions have been done. As you can see right now, I have like access to my members area because I've used that tag feature. So that's the masterclass that they have access to. And that's, and also because I've tagged that person previously or added that product, it got tagged to that person. And so they also have the 1000 followers fast. That's the one that's 243 viral posts as it stands to date. Um, but yeah, um, what else was I going to show? I was going to show you inside of the funnel of the members area and then um, how, it, how the restrictions are actually going on down there. So I'll go into the affiliate machine. Um, and then I'll go into the membership area. I think, Shamal, you were asking about uh, that restriction. Why is it seen and why is it not seen? Is that what you were asking? Something like that. So Yeah, but I think you answered it. It was the difference in it being an order bump. Yeah. There's the other thing is that, you know, the reason why it doesn't show up in the funnel afterwards, it's not just the order bump. It's also like, cause I use tags here, but what you'll be doing inside of the training is be adding that particular product. And that's what you'll be doing. Um, if we go to, so if I, if I was to go back to, to the, I think it's the 1000 followers, how the restrictions are in place, it mentions something like, uh, do we offer, do we offer it inside of the funnel? There we go. Upgrade offer. We don't because it's not an actual product. It's a bump. It's not product. It's not a product. So as you can see, the affiliate leads machine is right here. So I've got, I've got my particular products that are showing up here, but the order form bump doesn't show. When you create a specific product later, like an, on an order page, then it will show up. But inside of the funnel, as it stands with the training, it doesn't show up. But you can certainly use the training that you have right now to start thinking about, okay, yeah, I can use it in a different way or maybe add this as an upsell because they missed out on the offer. 
I'm going to offer this as a, as a page that they can click on. It will take them to an order page, upgrade, and it will show up in the members area. So hopefully that makes sense. But no. Okay. And question number four. Uh, I remember a while ago you were talking about removing uh, ref referring to click funnels uh, in some places. Um, where is that? Because you, you said that some people are just like uh, click funnels. So they might be like, I don't like this idea. It was something about either pictures or, you know, mentions of that. Oh, okay. So you're talking about, it could be the, the, the ability to change out the fav icon. And also the other side of it being when you go to a particular page, you want to make sure that the badges are all turned off on every page inside of the members area, everything, every single page inside of the funnel, because you're going to be introducing click funnels to them before they even see it. Um, and a lot of people who, who do see this icon sometimes, if they've been well-versed or been burnt by ClickFunnels or a, another program, they'll think, oh, okay, well, this, is, this has been uh, built on ClickFunnels. I'm, I'm going to avoid it because I've, I've already had experience with ClickFunnels previously. So um, if you wanted to go to um, help.clickfunnels.com and as Marion has also uh, mentioned as well, I'm going to pull up another document after this as well. So Fav icon, you can just type that in, you can figure out how to change that out inside of your funnel. Always refer back to these documentations. So it shows you here, shows you the dimensions. And also to, on the, off the back of that, I'll go to Google and type in Apple Emo. Jeez, there we go. This is what I did. As you can see, I've got a flame in mine right at the top. So I've replaced it. If you go to Apple Emojis, should be the top one, Emojipedia, I think it is. Yeah, Emojipedia.org. Uh, you can go to any one of these. If you scroll down, you can even use the ones on the right-hand side. All I'm looking for is a, is a, something something that's associated with my funnel, but I, I just chose something real quick. I could have used this, uh, this monkey instead. If I click on any one of these, there's a ton that's loading up on the page, but there are different variations of it from Apple, Google, Samsung, Aaron, Microsoft. You can also, yes. I put my logo, I managed to put my logo. You just had to add it as a digital product. Yeah, yeah, you can put your logo in there if you can. Like sometimes some logos just don't look great in there. Yeah, mine like, doesn't look great, yeah. but I did it. <laughs> yeah, it's better off as a picture or something. Can you see like Kartra at the top here and you've got ClickFunnels and, but if yeah. you've got your whole logo with your name in there, it's too, too squashy. So um, that's why I used that. But yeah, if you can get your initials in there like Blake does, um, then try and do that if you can. But as you can see, you've got different, different icons over here. I could just right click over here and just save it. And then you can upload it into digital assets as instructed on your fav icon over here. The other thing that you mentioned as well is about the um, affiliate badge toggle. Uh, where is it? Hide the ClickFunnels affiliate badge. So if you look that up inside of the, the help document as well, you can just watch this video should be further down. There it is. They've just updated all the documents and made it a little bit long and longer for us to get to the video. It used to be at the top, but if you watch that, I will show you how to do that too. Uh, and the other document that Marian has given to me, you know, when you add a man manually add a member, you can go through here. Um, manual and new members. So write that down. If you wanted to add a new VA or someone where they don't need to make a purchase, you're just granting them access. Essentially you're doing that as well. Okay, thank you for that, Marianne, and those questions as well. Okay, cool, cool. Um, do you have any other questions or anything like that? So we have pretty much about 40, 45 minutes left. We actually have 30 minutes left, but it's okay. We have, no worries. Evie, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, look, I'm, I'm laughing looking at Vicky. She looks so laid back and relaxed. <laughs> good, good for you. Uh, I've got three questions. I don't know if, if you want me to share uh, my screen. Um, it's One of them is related to SendGrid. <clears throat> it's just I'm doing the email integration in the ClickFunnel. And I took the API key, you know, but I had to change it. So I don't know if it's like smart enough now. I do, did create a new key, erase the old key in SendGrid so that I can come back here into ClickFunnels and add the API key. But it, if you look at my screen at the very, when I go to save SM, 
TP integration, it tells me uh, my user or password is not valid. Okay. Yep. Aside from that one, what other question do you have? Okay. So then if you go to my click funnel, um, my order confirmation page, it, there's a little thing that, that says there warning button action is not set. Okay. So just hit the enter button on that one. So whenever you get the secret sign up URL and the order confirmation page, add that URL, hit enter or tab. So I'll go to edit in the orange section and then just hit enter or tab or whatever that is that Blake told us to do. Once you've added the URL, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then uh, also, if you look at my membership access, the f you know, when you're going in before you hit the edit page, when you're looking at the page, I have this site can't be reached. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on. Like all of a sudden my membership access page is completely gone. I, I don't know where it is. I was like, is it glitch in the matrix or glitch in click funnels as I, as I, I tend to refer back to it. I, so, I, but when I click to edit, I see everything. Yeah. So it's weird. I don't know if that means it's okay. Like I, if I do a preview of it, I mean, it's, let me, let me take a look if it's working today. Go ahead, go ahead and you share your screen because it's good for everybody else to see as well. I'll take over screen control. So if anybody else has any other issues that, you know, with a customer that asked this question, you can take care of it in the same way that I'll be dealing with it as well. Now, okay. it might end up being that last problem being a glitch with ClickFunnels. And so you'd have to go back to them. Um, the other thing is that whenever you receive any, whenever anybody receives any sort of glitches through the program, you could always like re uh, remove cookies, cache history, uh, and then restart your computer as well. And that usually gives it a nice kickstart, like an old Nokia. Uh, let me just request some remote control access and we'll go ahead for, from here. So uh, first things first, we were talking about like a SendGrid. So let's take care of that issue first and then uh, we'll go forward from there. Okay. Okay. So, so as you can see, this is my, I'm in ClickFunnel here. This is the mm -hmm. error message that I got. Here's my API key and here's the password. But if you go into SendGrid, there I am. So we need to go back into settings, do API keys. This is the key that I, that I copied. It's the only okay. key that I have in there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I, I've already tried creating a new key. Yeah. And I'm still getting this error message here. Like darn it, my domain, literally 20 minutes before we started and went live. It just got verified after weeks. So that's no great. <laughs> um, I have the SendGrid portion all set up, everything I needed to do. I just cannot get that key to approve. I, I don't know what's going on, but I'll keep trying. And if not, I will reach out to ClickFunnels. So, uh, um, reach out to technical support with our team. Don't worry about ClickFunnels. So we'll take care of that for you. If that is, okay. that's still an issue, a user issue, Fantastic. I'm just going to have a look. I'm just going to have a look at a couple of other things. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you the other, but go ahead. Not yeah, yourself. cool. So I'm just going to have a look at this, whatever the settings are over here. Yeah, everything seems okay. And it's just that API key. Um, you've already, you've already uh, authenticated your domain, have you? Yes. If you go into, if you, yeah, go ahead there, do your thing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I got my API key a little bit differently how everybody else did. Um, and either way, it's the same thing. Uh, I see a couple of failed ones, but I guess one of them went through. You also got the link branding. That's good. Um, I think Blake shows you how to do the single sender. I do do domain authentication and also link branding, but it looks like it's Yeah, good. it took two tries, but it finally got the to authenticate at the top. Okay, so what I use is API, email API, and then I go into integration guide. Oof, that I was lost in there, dude. I'm like, oh my God, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I create a key. Uh, let me just let me just call this. Uh, just call it SendGrid business email or whatever or something. I don't care. Yeah, it's just internal purposes. So I think this is just a bit of a lag lead machine. Let's create key. So um, when we get that, we'll create this one here. You're on a Windows, right? Yeah, you are. Yes, I, I use Mac for photography. I don't. I, you don't, don't use it for every day. Okay, so you have these two over here. Next, I'm going to say, so this, this can take a little bit of time, but what I've done is- That's okay, go, go for it. That's uh, okay. Uh, when I did the demonstration video, it just took a little bit of time because I didn't accept things previously. Uh, five, eight, seven, I think you've done that fine. Yeah, five, eight, seven. Verify email settings. 
We're good here. Yes. <laughs> yes, success, Darren. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so now I'm sitting like Vicky. Yeah. There you All go. Right. So, so now thank you for resolving that. Does anybody have questions on that? <laughs> Yeah, Aaron, what did you do? Um, all I did was just use the, I did a different way of how he to do used it. A different, he used a different area, a different key is what he I did. Used, I used an email API key. Huh. Um, I was one of the, I, was bef I figured this out before ClickFunnels even did a documentation on it and then put it on YouTube. And then I forgot to, I went for, I actually left the video uh, public. Next minute, someone took that video and posted it into ClickFunnels. And then I got loads of views. I was like, crap. I actually say, hey, welcome to the Blake Spanner program. This is Darren uh, at the start of it as well. And I thought, hmm, maybe I can get more people in the Blake Spanner program. Um, I didn't so know I'm grateful saying. you did that because <laughs> it would have ne probably maybe after two days, it would have occurred to me to go fiddle around and try a different key, but never. So thank you. No now, worries. if you want to, you want me to show you what's happening with the uh, membership page? Yeah, okay, go ahead. So show me what's actually happening. So let's go, go back. Through the and go back here. And this can happen to anybody else. There as well, it is. So See it? Oh yeah, don't worry about the thumbnail or anything like that. So okay, you, so that doesn't uh, matter, right? Uh, it looks like your SM, S, uh, what is it called? SSL hasn't been triggered. So let me just go. Let me just take a screen control for a moment. Yeah, can you do that? Are you able to do that SSL business? Because that's another one that's going to kill me. Yeah, it looks like because you've added the domain too early into the funnel. So what will happen is if you add your domains in too early into the funnel, it will actually. Cause I I took it out and I put it in just as recommended by uh, ClickFunnels, and then okay. it got verified. Okay, so it looks like it's verified over here. I'm gonna take yeah. it out and put it back in again and just uh, point it back to the funnel. Um, if ever that, ever that happens, oh, it might- Oh, you, you, you have to take out the email integration, I think, to delete the domain. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, you've done that too. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, at least I know that much. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the stumbling part there. But at least you've got the, the oh, API no, key. Oh, no, don't, don't remove it. You're going to remove it? You just got it. That's oh, okay. God. Hey, guys. Good he practice. Just, okay, this is the 45 minutes. Oh, my Lord. It's all good. We need to know this anyway. So I'm glad, that in, I'm glad that you highlighted that. So uh, even though it's verified here, we want to remove it completely and add it in correctly. Yeah. Uh, it's just the way that ClickFunnels works. So I'm sure Marianne's gone through this plenty of times as well. So I'm just going to double check over here with uh, what's my DNS.net. Just making sure it's actually pointed over correctly, everything. I'm just going to paste in that URL. So it's www.cname. It's just extra stuff that I know about. If it says target.clickfunnels.com, we're good. And you'll expect about four or five red X's across the world. Japan, okay. not interested for the time being. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just for other people that want to like do the technical stuff as well. So it's just a like two two second job, but at least I know it's pointed over and I'm not going to be going through to this part and adding it and then seeing no success. There we go. So just add that like that. It's a GoDaddy domain, right? Yeah, so you can say you can say I've done this step. I've already been through all that. Cool. Okay. So go to the funnel. Uh, which one? Gordon? Yeah. Cool. So did shaded. And then what we want to check off the back of that, it might not be inside of the training, but I also want to show you here too, because sometimes you may want to, some other people may have some of their funnels as well, but it's pointed to the, to the right step of the funnel here, golden hour and here too. The next thing we want to do with that domain, we want to add the SSL. See, that was not available to me because it wasn't all connected. I guess you have to have all your stuff connected for that to be an option. Yeah. And it says about 15, uh, 10, 15 minutes. You just need to wait like 20 to 30 seconds here. And then you excellent. Just wow. I feel so accomplished yesterday. I, I just had to walk away. Yeah. I don't drink. I don't drink people, but I had, I had wine yesterday. Okay. I'm just saying a really big glass. <laughs> and today I had to take a nap because my head hurt. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, the whole point of the program is not for you to become an al alcoholic, but I mean, I'm sure I'm sorry if that's the effect of it all. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's all good. But you know, so you do, there are times where you have to walk away. You have to get up, walk away from the desk. And then all of a sudden your mind starts to trigger like, oh, maybe I should try this, or maybe I should stuff that you're not thinking about when you're sitting there facing the problem. So I, I, I can take a walk or I'll jump on my stepper or whatever it is, but I have to walk away. 
Yeah, always take a breather because like some people can just power through this. Now you can see we've got a green padlock now. Yes, a... that's different. Yeah. Excellent. It. So you now it's it. secured. That's the SSL and the e email integration looks great. Oh, you're going to do... Oh, you're, you're, you're going to do you're going to do that part. So all we need to do go from there is just take that uh, the email API integration. If I to go, if I was to go back to the yeah, to I should make it. you do it. You erased it. Uh, it's good practice for you. <laughs> I know you can leave it. It's okay. I just wanted to point out here. We're going to SMTP relay. Choose that one, and we're going to leave it on the page that you need it on. So it already has the API key. Uh, you have to create one by adding a name or something. It'll create a new mm, one. No, I should. Uh, well, yeah, create a new one. Replace yes, the old because one, so. that's the thing. It doesn't let you reuse. And it's got a little warning. Copy this. You can't reuse it. It won't let me reuse it. So I'll just create a new one. It's mm -hmm. no big deal. Yeah. So then let's go on to, um, can you go into the order confirmation page on ClickFunnels? Uh, yeah. This one. Uh, right? you, you have control. You do what uh, you this need to one. do. Yeah, let me show you. Uh-oh, what happened? I can't go back there. All right, so let's go in here now. And I'll, I'll go back to that and set it up in a sec. Okay, so order confirmation page. Now all your HTTPS is all showing through on each and every page now. Okay, so, so just to verify, this is the one where you said, eventually here, I'm going to have to enter something, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's why, why did I why did I not do that? I'm already on like section 10 or something. Um, no it... idea. No idea. But how to get past that real quick. I mean, uh, have you already got the URL ready? No. Okay, let me just take over screen control real quick and then go into the membership area. Hopefully that's uh, let's go into this one over here on the left hand side. Go to click funnels, funnels, golden funnel. We're going to go to the membership area inside of this funnel this one right here and it's the one on the right hand side so there's a difference between the login url and the secret sign up url we want to get okay. one on the right hand side so select all copy uh order confirmation edit page and then click on this one here it's already been selected so i'll click on it again uh and then i'll go to the set action, action. yeah and, and, and that's where uh, uh would we want to do the same window yeah 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 same window uh, and then just hit enter now can you see it's already gone from red to gray or black underneath yeah. the button that's good i'll still hit enter oh anyway. yeah 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 there it is okay so okay um, so when i did it i probably didn't take note that it did not accept the entire url yeah and let's so, just hit save there yeah i just wanted to Excellent. make sure on mobile as well because sometimes it's a separate button but at least that's done um <clears throat> but uh, Aside from that, I think you're all good going forwards. Email integration just needs to be, just needs to go. Uh, and then just a reminder, I know I know Marianne is is on the line and she's actively helping with me with this. Okay. I let her know in a help desk ticket that I cannot go to the blueprint survey until I get my mm -hmm. click funnel affiliate. I don't have that affiliate link. Uh, so I'm stuck. So as you can see, I've moved past that. I'm on section 10 and doing everything I can until I get that. Mm. But my goodness, I'm telling you, we're going on almost four weeks of waiting for this affiliate link. Uh, um, the link that I showed you on the last call, you've already got it. So it's, it, you can still use that affiliate link. The one that I uh, constructed with you with the X's across there. So check out the last training, Cr uh, grab your affiliate ID, and then just copy and paste that into there and you can forward it to the team. It doesn't matter about ClickFunnels giving you access to it or not. I've given the ability to actually create it without them giving you access. So okay. You so that. I did not understand what you meant in the messenger. So I'm going to uh, the call. This is 54. When am I going to call 53 to review that again? Yeah. yeah call 53. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you, Darren. And I'm done with uh, questions. Thank you, everybody. All right. All right. Good questions. So you can see, like, if you go through ClickFunnels again and again and again, I'm just you this time last year, but I didn't have a clue about any of this. Um, and so if you get faster and faster and faster with this, if you're able to get on a call with someone who's not even on the Blake Spawner program or the social media machine or someone else's program, um, imagine you just finishing something off that they've been struggling for weeks and days on like the pain point that um evie was going through right there i did that the other day i had no idea that he was actually using click funnels i didn't even know he was in an e-com 
So how am I going to get that person to understand that you actually need to learn click funnels or understand click funnels before you even go further? A lot of people going into bigger programs. So I spoke him, I spoke to him and talked him down and said, like, understand that you're investing $97 a month or $297 a month. Wouldn't it be more beneficial to actually understand the platform and going forwards from there forward? And guess what? I'm going to help you out and take over your screen control, figure out your pages. Let's go and do this together. You're going to watch this. I'm going to record this and maybe give you this video. I'll up upload it to YouTube and you'll be just like watching me just go and do this. And here I figured out what was happening on page one, page two, the products, the integrations, the email, everything just like this. It doesn't matter what funnel it is. It will help you to actually create a sale because you know your stuff. That's where the no like and trust comes about. So if you can do that on a call like this, real quick and easy, guess what? It was 15, 20 minutes. And that made me, it made me what, 500? No, it made me a thousand, around about a thousand dollars. It cost me 15 minutes of my time. I got him on a call. Firstly, it was in Messenger. And that's why I do it in the way that I do it. Um, you can't get that from an advert. You can't get that from, it's personal. You're speaking to one person, that one person's problem. Um, so hopefully that helps. Anyway, Brian. Where are you? All right, there we go. Uh, there you um, go. Okay, so you've already answered one of the questions, um, and uh, to, to Evie, uh, which is talking about the um, the affiliate link. Um, I remember you doing it last last week, but I thought that was a, a more of a hack than <laughs> something we could genuinely use. You know, so okay, so that's fine. Um, so the other question um, uh, on that with with ClickFunnels is. Uh, when I go into that um, affiliate dashboard, it, it talks about, uh, oh, you got to sign up for Tipalti as your uh, uh, an account to be paid with. And I thought we was using Stripe. So ClickFunnels use Tipalti as their big payment gateway, essentially. So imagine that it being like a PayPal or a Stripe. That's just their way of doing it so that they can manage all of these users, right. over 100,000 100, users. Sure. So it, the way that they pay you, go ahead. We don't need to set that Tipalti up. You do. So ah. every so if you want to be paid by anybody that signs up to ClickFunnels or anything, they're going to hold your money until you do that. So you create a Tipalti account. The Tipalti account, once you've been given access to it, you you have to email ClickFunnels to have a, a an invitation link to create an account. It will say on the bottom right hand side. I think no, I think that's changed. There's a, changed there's a link the up the top. Yeah. Top, okay. Yeah. yeah. So right. Set up so, it and so forth. Yeah, All right. So, so we've got to go through that. Okay. And then uh the um uh so the stripe is is uh gonna actually be used through what how does that hook in with tabalti then so um so consider the payment from click funnels different so they're paying you for when you sell a product or a product or a service whether it's click funnels being an affiliate of click funnels the books the two comic club live event or whatever other thing that they're doing that's how they pay you for those products for, ah for them right okay gotcha stripe and paypal if you're going to use it over here in the black partner program got it Separate. okay great yeah. great great but, um, okay super um and so yeah i'm still I'm nowhere near flying as, as fast as these guys. Uh, uh, Blake told, he emailed me that I should get my uh, um, um, pages soon. They're being worked on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll be running running up behind everybody soon. Okay, good, good, good. Don't worry. I'm onboarding a lot of people recently. So, like, uh, I've onboarded another two today, I think four the other day, and another five previous days. So, they're going to catch up with you, but don't consider this a race. This is your own journey. Figure this out in your own time and make it's sure a race. It's a race. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Change your logo again. Very good. Um, oh, that's an old one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get rid of that one. Yeah. Ooh, the mountain the wrong way around. Um, okay. Sorry. Cool. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's your logo. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, I don't see any more questions and we're coming to the top of the hour and uh, I'm just wondering, does anybody else want to kind of just unmute for a moment and uh, maybe, maybe something that you have a win or a share, maybe, maybe some, some issues with communicating with people or something like that. Or are you running any ads? If not, no worries. Are you trying to figure out how to do this organically? What is it that you got? Does anybody want to unmute? Any final advice for a few of us who will have their final call today at Darren? What would be something that you like back at knowing uh, where you were a year ago, knowing what you're now? Any kind of final advice, what comes to your mind? 
Yeah, a ton. How long? How long you got? <laughs> oh, okay, I have whole night. No, I simplified now. So um, now it comes down to what I received from Fun Hacking Live, being inside of the room when I didn't even have a ClickFunnels account with five thousand other people. It's just crazy. Now being in the room, networking, it does. It, you can't really, really not here in the UK. You can't really do it. But if you can do it virtually, if you can go to events, if you can just show up for like a, a something virtual, something live. Uh, being inside of the room when people actually see you live maybe it's just something fun people want to do a giveaway or something just be present and if you're able to get on camera as well you can actually start communicating with people too so think of other other means and ways of actually getting in front of people's eyes use it to your advantage but always remember you've got to focus down and go tunnel vision and focus on one thing the big message that i received from funnel hacking live was to not chase too many rabbits. It was not in the same way that Confucius says chasing too many rabbits never gets none, right? If you, and that's what I did over so many years, what, 11 years to then finally go to an event where I received the same information that has been told in a different way. Focusing on that one thing, becoming the master of that one thing before moving forwards. If you try and do too many things, like I want to go and do Pinterest, I want to go and do Instagram, I want to go and do YouTube. Yes, that's what the big players are doing. But how about just figure out this one thing? And if it's organic strategy or if it's paid ads or if it's something else, choose your channel, choose your platform, focus down on that one thing. So you're only one funnel away, this one funnel. If it doesn't work, like Nikki, uh, she's not with us now. She's um, just finished with these six weeks. She changed her funnel. She finished it in like two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. She changed her funnel really quick. And I was surprised with what she did and how she did it and where she went afterwards. And so she was able to go out and contact certain people and start creating sales, which is awesome. Great speed, determination. So one funnel away, you're only one connection away as well. So if you're, if you're going to go out there and do a proof of concept, you're going to be reaching out to people inside of certain groups. If you're positioning your funnel to a particular funnel, you're going to be going to those particular groups, adding that member and then sending them a message. I call it a double knock approach. So you're sending an ad friend request and then you can send them a message. You can start talking to them. Now, this is how I do it. It's let's just say I'm not, I'm not running any ads and so I'll just keep everything. Uh, Aaron, keep, now that you're at your 5,000 friends, what are you doing? If you can't add people, can you see what I'm doing inside my profile right now? I'm removing certain people. So if I need to remove one or if I need to remove a few, it's showing the fluctuation. And I'm actually saying like, I'm actually getting to 5,000 and I'm, when I'm removing it, I'm causing interest because when I remove people, I'll state the number. And when I state the number, it goes up again. I'm like, I can't win. Like there are people that have, I've added as friends as well. So they need to, ex oh. right. So it's going up and down. So it's like, why? But I want to cause the engagement for a reason. And then when I go back and actually respond back to the post and the comments one by one, I won't respond to all of them. I'll respond to a portion, then I'll leave it. And I noticed that I think if I think Aga was on there, a few other people were like, yeah, I'm still here. If the tool removes you, don't take offense. It's just because you're not engaged. And I'm not there to like do that job to figure it out. The tool will do it. The tool used to be $10. It's not affiliated. It's called FB Multi-Tools. Um, and you can go to the Google Chrome store and actually just buy that. It's actually at $20 lifetime. It, I don't pay a yearly fee on that. I've only been using it the last three months. Um, and I haven't really utilized all the other features on there. One, it takes care of all those people that are in, uh, engaging on your, on your likes, comments, shares, and your messenger. And you can do a search feature and, put, and plug in a couple of zeros or if there's been less than 10 messages or something like that or less than we have less than 10 people in common, it will filter through all these people. It will show you whose profile is deactivated. It will show you who is um, in Facebook jail, locked by Facebook, it says, and you can delete those people too. And what's the point of keeping them on your, on your personal profile if they're not even engaged? They can't actually engage on Facebook anymore. They've been locked out. So uh, I discovered that I had about 87 people that were locked disappeared. Now I know why. So now I just have one or two per day who are playing that Facebook game, but are not being safe about it. And then suddenly I see them again. I think, didn't, weren't we friends before? I said, yeah, I got kicked off on Facebook. So I'm back in conversation again, but eventually like, as I keep fluctuating and with those numbers, um, I don't want to get to, I don't, I don't really want to open up a group. I don't want to manage it. I don't want to do Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger group managing that. 
because it's not a place to actually cre create the, the service that you need for your customers. With a couple of people in a test group, yes, but not like in like double figures and beyond. I did it for seven people. And as, as I seen it with yourselves and everybody else, we realized that as a team to scale this, to, to make sure that you're answered as well, we need to make sure that certain things are in place. And that's why we have priority support for you now. Um, but uh, the other advice that I'd give you, so you're one funnel away, one connection away, um, be willing to fail. What do you mean by fail? Is that I can hear the voice change there? You, what? <laughs> of course, of course, it's changing. Nobody's in it to fail. I'm here to fail. That's why. That's why I'm here. So if I fail, I go out there and test as much as I can. But I don't know it's a test. I just go out there and just play. This is like a game for me. I go out there and play the game. And if I want, if I enjoy it, I'll wake up every day and just keep doing it. This is what I've done inside of the program. Each and every day, I've gone out there to serve. Why? Because it feels good. If I, if I make money from it, if I don't, I don't mind. I don't care. I don't, I'm not here to line my bank account. What am I here for? I'm here to get the end results for the end person, the end user, the end customer, the end client. And so if you want to go out there and fail, what are you doing? You're practicing. You don't realize it until you've actually made that success. So how many conversations did I have in two and a half weeks? I don't know, but I recorded every single one of them. I documented the journeys and I added them over to YouTube for me to see. And for me to analyze later, did I look over them or did I gain, did I gain more of an understanding by actually going through each and every one of those conversations from a two hour, 20 minute conversation? I went and did 30 minutes, 17, 14, and then down to a six minute conversation where I understood that I need to start looking at the, the engagement. And like, I'm, when, when I'm on a room, when I can see more, more people's cameras and stuff, I can actually gauge the room. But if it's a one on one conversation, you're actually listening and you're really paying attention to their mannerisms and what they're doing. And if they're in the Churchill, if you're in the UK, you'll know Churchill, right? You get that Churchill dog, that advert is at the back of the car, just nodding the head. When they're doing that, they've already predetermined. The, how are you doing? Michelle, not Adrian. Um, they're already predetermined. They've already, hands, they've already selected that they want to work with you. But guess what? I don't want to work with everybody. And when I tell them that on the call as well, they're like, oh, okay. And then they have that feeling of like FOMO because I don't want to work with everybody because they can be lazy and they can be a headache you decide what customers you want to deal with. Now, with the done for you customers, expect them to be a headache. They'll ask you this, that, and the other. Create your boundaries. And if you don't have your boundaries, they're going to be in your inbox and they'll be phoning you, be calling you and everything like that. They can only call you at a certain part of the day or they have to book a call with you. Start creating these boundaries. Otherwise, they'll just be inside of your inbox and taking up too much of your time. So, um, and, and Aaron, yes. when you're doing that, do you recommend that we get our feet wet? Or I know that some people uh, are already adding that product to their funnel. Hmm. Uh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. But I'm, I'm thinking that to benefit my clients, I would rather have a little bit more experience before I start offering, you know, to build their funnels. I don't know. What do you suggest? I suggest... Continue building, continue finishing it off. And guess what? Don't add it to the third option on the left-hand side menu. So you can shift that step all the way down past legal and it won't be the next step. So it'll be the blueprint and with the, the order form bump, it'll be the second product on the first page. That'll be the masterclass and it'll be order confirmation page. Boom, done. Right, right. I haven't touched it. So Okay, I, I think I'm going to do that just because I want to be a little bit more comfortable with the product. Evie, Evie, when you're done making your funnel, you're going to be a lot more comfortable than you think you will. I, you'll, you'll feel ready, I think. Thank you for the <clears throat> vote of confidence there. Vicky. I didn't have any more experience than you did. And did you launch already, Vicky? Yeah, I did. Okay. And uh, I went, I knew nothing about funnels. And once you watch the masterclass, you'll see that it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Your basic, yeah, you'll be, yeah, you, you'll feel comfortable. Awesome. I can't wait. I'm excited. I, I'm with Vicky. Like, I look at this and right now I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> You're coming in on like coaching call number two for you, but everybody else, like Vicky's like pretty much finished, right? Uh, Aga's finished. Uh, who else is leaving today? I don't know. I can't remember from the call. Jens and Winnie. Winnie may be on the other call. I don't know. Is she here today? Uh, Jens. I don't see her. Yeah, no, she's she's not there. 
Okay. Uh, at least you're here. You're present. I mean, um, are you putting the funnel together or are you just kind of like taking notes or is it just Winnie that's putting the funnel together? Uh, I started looking through the videos, but I haven't done it because I'm still missing my uh, Facebook. Um, what is it? The Facebook. Give me a second. Are you missing your graphics, Omar? I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think that's what you said earlier. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, I'm missing part of it. That's why. And so you're looking to add the blueprint or something like that because they're asking for the previous graphics. I'm guessing that's where the stumbling block is right there. Something like that. But I asked you earlier, like, uh, and you said, give it a couple more days. So I'm waiting on yeah. that. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because like the more I, videos I see and the more I hear everybody yeah. talking, I'm like, it's a lot it's a lot this session is not like a regular session every session is always different so like some of the questions can be more intense like over the shoulder type of training or it could be just us talking like this but it's good questions because it's something it's making you now think in the business owner aspect now like vicky always used to except for today she used to always have a ton of questions now look at she's now saying like i'm ready like bring it on like i'm ready with the funnel vicky's a pro she launched already yeah that's awesome. No. I will say, look, like being in these calls, like once I get to a certain point, I'm like, oh, okay, that's what they were talking about. And I, so it makes me want to make sure that I'm here. The, <laughs> the next thing to go faster. Yeah. Thanks, hey. everybody, by the way. Hey, you Omar. Are just like, what's this? And then the further you go, you're like, ah, yeah, yeah. it just gets better. It really yeah. does. Except sometimes you have these moments like uh, some of us with that uh, with email, it's just like, Arr! but you know what? You're getting pissed off for not having to work for others. And thanks to everybody, like your questions will like trigger certain thoughts. And I'm like, oh, okay. So thanks to everybody and Darren, like that one conversation we had was awesome because it made me like just. Hey, to Omar. Care. Yes, I was I was exactly where you are just literally two weeks ago where I was sitting in on the calls, just listening and taking notes. Oh, she said this for this section and I'm taking notes, right? It's because I'm thinking that's going to happen to me. Assume everything's going to happen to you. Pay attention, take notes. And then you start to understand, oh, look, that's what they're talking about. Been there, done that, right? So it, it kind of gets easier. You'll see. Yeah. Hey. Guess how many times I've actually instructed the same stuff during these calls mm -hmm. and okay, before the accelerator program as well. So get good at repeating yourself because you are going to repeat yourself. And guess what? When you repeat yourself, you become really good. And so when I mentioned about like how I do things and when I get people on a call, if I choose to, because I'm really lazy with it now, if I choose to, if I say, okay, my target is I'm going to get five click funnel signups. What does that mean to me? I'm going to get five people to buy into my lead machine and they're going to buy all three products. Three products because I don't want the done for you in my in my business. It's okay if you want it. I did purchase in the done for you plus when I when it first re, uh, was released in the Blake Spawner program. He released the animation afterwards. He also released the done for you plus, and I was like, "Yep, credit card ready, literally right here." <laughs> so um, I purchased into everything like that. But the accelerator program afterwards has been a, has is always evolving and changing, so it will make it uh, even better for you. Uh, and then we had the traffic explosion. I couldn't believe that was been that had been released as well. So uh, we were trying to do our best for you over here. Not only not not only just giving you a system that works, it's the understanding that everybody else inside of the main program don't understand. My understanding has been passed on to you because it's not just building out the products. My customer from Germany, he actually only sold two blueprints, and he made ten thousand dollars. Strange, right? Because he understood ClickFunnels. Now he's going out and offering coaching. He's offering how to do funnel builds. Guess what? That funnel is now like a Lamborghini in your showroom. So they can all look at it and you can explain it. Oh, I know, I know that ClickFunnels does this, does it? Really? I didn't know it had that feature of tagging. I didn't know you could do that with it, with the with the products and all that kind of thing. You can have extra controls. Okay, so what else do you know about ClickFunnels? What don't you know? Did you think that you couldn't couldn't actually promote it if you didn't actually create that one thousand dollars in the calendar month? You can. Yeah. Darren, it, you talking about this is, makes me ask a question that I've thought before. Why would people work for ClickFunnels support when they could just go out and be a consultant to people, like a personal one-on-one? -on -one Similar like Google Help. Uh, one of my friends, he was working uh, for Google Help Desk, 
Um, because they hire external companies uh, like Arvato and other ones, uh, people don't really get rises. He made all the freaking trainings there, left uh, for a job paying him a few times more because he's super effective, because he knows it's inside out. He again gets even higher job offers and uses that money to learn trading and he's very solid. So I'd say with help desks, eventually a lot of people leave because do you get uh, paid a lot? No. The promotion uh, paths are like, if you're too good, they don't actually want to promote you because goodness me, the stats, uh, satisfaction stats go up. So, uh, and what he learned that a lot of people who are agent, uh, advertising agencies dealing with your Google advertising are clueless. They call them because they don't know basics and they already sell coaching. So how much better you can get? The answer so is yes, you can. So, so with help, so why people actually go on help desk and maybe, maybe never ever move from there is because they just don't know what they don't know. They haven't seen yeah. whatever is available. Now, I didn't know that this was going to be available because what I did inside of the program was I provided so much value inside of the program that I was faster than click than click funnels and I was easier to reach inside of the group when I was really active in there. Now I'm not active at all. The reason is because I'm being active here for you. And so I'm, I'm making sure that I'm going out there and getting more training, not only just training, but other. I don't want to just master organic in one way. I want to master organic in another way as well, but I've become really good with this. So I've actually gone and done, like I'll go casually and I'll just turn up on a call 15 minutes late now. Like I'll get on a call and I'll just, I'll just say, Hey, uh, sorry for being late. I was actually asleep. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be real. Or I'll actually say, oh, I was actually on another call is what I'd normally say. But if I was to get on a call and they're waiting for me and they're 15 minutes in, whoa, Okay, you're a qualified customer straight away. You waited for me. You didn't like message me saying, hey, where are you? Apologies. Thank you for getting on the call with me. Just remind me, what did you get on the call for? Now, why, with your, to answer your question specifically, I wanted to touch on the point that why do we do these, why do we go out and actually just do support desk? I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't even know that ClickFunnels could do all of this stuff. I just saw people gaining two Comma Club awards I just saw other people getting two comma club X, two comma club C. I had to actually be in the room. And I was like, oh my God, these are all the people that I've served. And when Russell did this, he did the uh, Thanos snap inside of the room. It was just crazy. He just went, and he was like, whoa. Everybody just did the table rush. They went around the room and just, they wanted a picture with him and Todd, Todd Dickerson and a hoodie and the ability to upgrade their account before the price rises. People are paying for ClickFunnels accounts at click collective level, $1,497 a month to get a little bit of extra access, video support, over the shoulder type of support. So it's the same thing, but provided in a different way. What is the book from Dotcom Secrets? Where is it taking you? He's already indoctrinating you. So no, you want to you wanna gain experience and have a, an overview of everything and when you can step back for a moment rather than just be like in study mode take take a step back for a, for a moment and say like this is my thing i'm really good at it and now when you can actually go out there and just click your own fingers people will start actually actually queuing up for you and it's crazy that person was waiting for me and in 15 minutes i said oh i've only got 12 minutes to show you what i need to show you and within the six minutes, she already told me that she was military based and that she, so I use the word SOPs. So you want something that can just be actionable, just like that, right? You don't want fluffy programs. So I was able to take that conversation and say, okay, well, I understand that you're probably in the one from the way challenge and, you'd, and, it, and you're only in week one and it's just about mindset week. Have you actioned anything? No. So how about if you get into a program where it's just actionable and it only, and you can do it in like two, or four, two to four days. My customer did it in four days. He was German, non-English speaking. I did it in two. And so whilst I was on the onboarding call, I think it was, if he's still here, if he's still trucking away, I don't think he's here. I said to dip in, dip out if he, if he needs to. Yeah, I'm here. I'm still oh, here. Oh, no, he's there. There you are, Brennan. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, I think I was on, the, on your call or another onboarding call previous to that. I said, oh, I just received the payment. Um it was because of that conversation and I just left it to it. I said, look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mind when you actually make that, that choice, but I will let you know that the price for the last product is going to go up by three, $400. It's your choice if you want to get it now or later, but I am increasing that price. And she doesn't even know the, what I'm actually offering yet. 
she's buying into me. That's why I approach it in a different way. And when you know what you know, Vicky, when you have conversations like that, it's like, yeah, just take my money. Russell, he said that all he had to say was like, have a picture with me. It's going to cost you $1,497. I'm going to use it in my advertising and everything like that. And then those are people actually using those pictures for advertising. They've actually got their awards and stuff, but you can, you can see how he positioned that. Now, what happened in the room when I looked around and we've already gone past 18 minutes past the hour. So I'll probably finish off with this. If you look around the room and when I was at Fun Hiking Live, I was like, oh my God, all of these people need support. He was offering over the shoulder phone support, not video support, phone support. And what was I doing inside of the Blake's Partner program? I was doing Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom way before ClickFunnels even offered it until like the end of this, the last year. So stand out from the crowd. Uh, Marion, how long approximately will it take to approve? Um, it should be straight away. Um, do you have access to the portal, uh, Evie? I do. So I can get it through the portal then, right? Oh, did you use your email that you purchased with? or did you use Yes, I did. I just submitted the form. Apparently, you have to submit the form requesting access. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, that's, so that's I just point. did. I just did. I can wait. I'm just anxious. I want to get that link in there so I can submit my blueprint survey I've been waiting on for weeks. Yeah. I think yes. if you refresh your... Um, Membership the program period. yeah let me try Probably. that again i i did that thank you Charmel. you're so great it happened to me <laughs> the other week <laughs> uh no, just to touch on for everybody yet. uh just to touch on for everybody so we've actually removed just in case you're looking for the coaching call vault we used to have all of the the coaching calls from blake and myself all in here and it was a part of um the progress bar that we had inside of here and so nobody's going to go through all of my calls and maybe nobody's all, all going to go through blake's calls for example and as you can see we've just opened up an, a separate members area that has just our calls in there so at least you have a, an actual progress bar for the just just the training and then you know where you are but we'll probably end up putting that back over here the progress bar but um so what's your uh uh, Evie was talking about is here the coaching call vault do not open uh, done for you plus traffic explosion copy secrets if you haven't finished and got to 11 launch and you haven't done your free upgrades leave those I've mentioned it inside of the new onboarding calls that I've that I've uh, given access to um, and then what I do is a, co a program overview which is very very overwhelming so I just give it as a video now and now it's just a meet and greet. So if you go here you click on that one that's what um, Evie was talking about and I just want you to unlock this so all you're doing is just adding your details. And once you've, um, once you've used the purchased email address, then you should be able to get access to that. And how that looks um, is. Uh, I just went into my partner program where it has all of my programs in there and yep there. And I went into coaching calls and I was able to access it. So I've got it now. Super cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So yeah, that's how it will look going from there. You just need to click on the access right there. Thanks for that, uh, Evie. Um, but yeah, you won't get all of the other ones that, are, that I've shown unlocked, but try not to get a shiny object with that. I want you to focus on the build. Once you've got that build done, done for you plus, next thing you want to go to the um, traffic explosion and that going forwards. But yeah, um, 21 minutes past the hour. Hope you're all well. If you have any other questions, go to your, t go to your priority support on the top left-hand side, life buoy. And then we'll get your questions answered. Um, aside from that, those that are did leaving. You just, did you just say do done for you plus and then traffic explosion? In the order that it shows on the left hand side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So done for you plus is to add that fourth product in there. So yeah. Um, yep. But those who are leaving today, uh, appreciate you for coming through to those six weeks and um, great to have you on board. Keep going. Keep plugging away. Hey, Good thanks. Job. Bye, guys. Good luck, Aga. Hope to see you around. Brian, Good take good care. Great information. Yeah. I appreciate good it. Luck, you guys have a good one. And keep watching Bye. your replays and come to your six uh, six months of Blake coaching calls as well. As well, okay. See you on the platform. See you on Facebook, everybody. Uh huh. Right. See you there. Bye. Okay, everyone. See you in the group. Bye.
creating a Topalti account, getting paid as a ClickFunnels affiliate. Hey everybody, in this video we're going to answer one really important question. As a ClickFunnels affiliate, how do you get paid your affiliate commissions? ClickFunnels uses a service called Topalti to pay out all of its affiliate commissions, so you will need to create an account with Topalti. You can do that right inside your ClickFunnels account by going up to your account menu and going to the affiliates area. Now you'll be prompted to log into your dashboard now. If you have not ever done this before, you may be prompted to confirm your account. But once you've done that, then you can log in and you'll see the affiliate area. You can see there's a banner right at the top. Please set up your Topalti account to be paid out. This is the area we'll be working with. Click the Set Up Topalti Account button, and that will take you to this four-step form that needs to be filled out. And you can see I've pre-filled some information here. But you'll need to choose whether you are an individual or a company, fill out your contact email, phone number, your full name, and the address for your self or your company, and then click the Next button. Once you have submitted your information, should you go back to it, you'll see the Edit button will show up in case you need to edit the information at any time in the future. Once you've completed this page, go ahead and click the Next button, and you'll be prompted to fill out the payment method that you prefer. There are four different options, direct deposit, wire transfer, check, or PayPal. Choose the one that best suits your needs and fill out the appropriate information for the payment to go through. Once you've done this, click on the Next button. And just like before, once you've submitted your information, if you go back to it, you will find an Edit button should you need to edit the information at all. The tax form area looks like this. You will need to choose whether you are submitting a W-8-BEN, a W-8-BEN-E, a W-9, or a different type of tax form based on your tax needs. If you're not sure which one it is, go ahead and click Start the Tax Form Questionnaire that's at the bottom and answer the questions. That will suggest to you the best form that you may need. Now, if you're really, really not sure, in all things tax, related, it's best to reach out to a CPA or other appropriate tax person to answer your questions. Once you've made your selection, you can click the Complete Form button, and it will bring you into your appropriate tax form. You'll need to fill out the information here. Now, I'm not going to go through this in the video because each form is different, and obviously the information that's provided will be unique to you. But when you have completed the form, you will have a button at the bottom that says submit and you may be asked for confirmation and to upload any information required for your identity like a passport or um, a driver's license something like that upon completing the tax form and having it submit correctly you will reach the done phase there's not much to do here except click the back button but the good news is your account has been submitted once Topalti confirms your tax information, then your payments will be live. You'll be able to be paid out as a ClickFunnels affiliate. Now you can confirm that by going back to your ClickFunnels account and then going into your affiliate area again. If you have a banner at the top here, then your account will still be processing or may need some adjustments so it can be confirmed. You may want to look at your information to make sure it is still correct. But once the policy has confirmed your tax information, then this banner will go away and you'll be ready to receive ClickFunnels commissions. Please note that commissions are paid out on the 15th and the 30th of every month and you'll need at least $100 in affiliate commissions in order for that payout to happen. If you are not yet at $100, but you have some amount there, that amount will be rolled over for consideration to the next affiliate payment date. Once you reach that $100, the entire value will be paid out. If you have any other questions about becoming an affiliate or setting up your Topalti account, please reach out to our support department and we'll be happy to help you out.